To change the time and date, press the butterfly. When the time appears on the screen, press and hold the time on the screen for three seconds until the screen changes. You will be prompted to select the desired time format by a 12-hour or 24-hour clock icon. Use the up or down chevron to select the desired time format and press the butterfly to continue. If you select the 12-hour time format, when the time on the meter appears, PM will appear for afternoon hours, but AM does not appear for morning hours. The hour blinks. Press the up or down chevron to select the hour. Press the butterfly to continue. The minutes blink. Press the up or down chevrons to set minutes. Press the butterfly to continue. The month blinks. Press the up or down chevrons to set the month. Press the butterfly to continue. The day blinks. Press the up or down chevrons to set the day. Press the butterfly to continue. The year blinks. Press the up or down chevrons to set the year. Press the butterfly to save. Time and date setup is now complete. Wash your hands with soap and warm water. Dry them completely. Use the lancing device included in your kit to obtain a blood sample. First, remove the lancing device cap by snapping it off at an angle. Insert a new lancet firmly into the blue lancet holder. Twist off the lancet cover. Replace the cap until it snaps or clicks into place. Be careful not to touch the exposed needle. Set the desired depth setting. Cock the slider by pulling back the gray slider until it clicks. Open the test strip foil at the notch and tear down to expose the test strip. Insert the test strip into the meter until it stops. This will turn the meter on. The Apply Blood icon will blink, indicating that the meter is ready for you to apply a sample to the test strip. Next, select your preferred test site. Use the lancing device to obtain a blood sample. Hold the lancing device firmly against the site and press the lancing button. Lift the lancing device and be careful to not smear the blood sample. Apply the blood drop to the white area at the end of the test strip until you see three dashes on the meter. This means you have applied enough blood. You will then see a five-second countdown. Do not remove the test strip from the meter during the countdown. The test is complete when the result appears on the meter screen. The result is automatically stored in memory. Discard the used test strip and lancet properly. If your blood glucose is 13.3 millimoles per liter or higher, KET will flash or blink on the screen. You should do a ketone test if ketone testing is part of your diabetes management plan. Your meter logbook can store up to 1,000 events. Press the butterfly to access the home screen. While on the home screen, press the logbook to view your logbook events. Press the down chevron to scroll through to view your logbook events. Here is an example of a blood glucose test result. Here is an example of a logged meal insulin dose. Push the down chevron to view other logbook events. While in the logbook, press the logbook icon again at any time to view your 7-day average. The seven-day icon and the total number of tests included in the average alternate on the bottom of the screen. Press the down chevron once to view your 14-day average. Here, 14-day and the total number of tests included in the average alternate on the bottom of the screen. Press the down chevron again to view your 30-day average. Here, a 30-day icon and the total number of tests included in the average alternate at the bottom of the screen. Note that averages do not include glucose control solution results. Also keep in mind that control solution tests that are not marked as control solution tests may cause your averages to be inaccurate. 
a series of three dashes appear when there are no current events or averages to show. Press the logbook again to return to your logbook events. A yellow arrow appears if your blood glucose result is higher than 13.3 millimoles per liter or the high blood glucose target set on your meter by your healthcare professional. If you see this arrow, follow your healthcare professional's advice to treat high blood glucose. If the yellow arrow is blinking, this means a pattern of high blood glucose has developed. This happens if three or more high results occur within the past five days and all are within the same three-hour time period. If you see the yellow arrow blinking, follow your healthcare professional's advice to treat high blood glucose. A red arrow lights if your blood glucose result is lower than 3.9 millimoles per liter or the low blood glucose target set on your meter by your healthcare professional. If you see this arrow, follow your healthcare professional's advice to treat low blood glucose. If the red arrow is blinking, a pattern of low glucose has developed. This happens if two or more low results occur within the past five days, and both are within the same three-hour period. If you see this blinking arrow, follow your healthcare professional's advice to treat low blood glucose. To enable insulin dose logging, press the butterfly to get to the home screen. While on the home screen, press and hold the logbook for three seconds until the syringe appears in the top right corner. Insulin dose logging is now enabled. You can turn insulin dose logging off by repeating this action. The Freestyle Optium Neometer allows you to log your insulin doses in the meter logbook. Your healthcare professional may set up this feature. However, if your healthcare professional has not set it up, you can enable insulin dose logging at any time. The following segment will show you how to log long acting insulin doses. While on the home screen, press the syringe. If you take long acting insulin in the morning, press the icon in the upper left corner of the screen. If you take long acting insulin in the evening, Press the icon in the upper right corner of the screen. Press the up or down chevron to enter the actual dose amount, then press the checkbox to log the dose. The meter stores your last long-acting insulin dose amount. When you log your next long-acting insulin dose, it will start from the previous logged dose amount. If you would like to log a meal insulin dose, while on the home screen, press the syringe. Choose the icon for the time of day for the insulin dose you took. For meal insulin at breakfast, press the icon at the lower left corner. For lunch, press the icon in the lower middle of the screen. Or for dinner, press the icon at the bottom right corner. Press the up chevron to enter the actual dose amount. Press the checkbox to log the dose you took. It is important to note when you go to log your meal insulin doses for the next day, you will need to log your meal insulin doses starting from zero. Wash your hands with soap and warm water. Dry them completely. Open the purple test strip foil at the notch and tear down to expose the test strip. Insert the purple test strip into the meter until it stops. This will turn the meter on. KET will appear on the screen to indicate this is a blood ketone test. The Apply Blood icon will blink, indicating that the meter is ready for you to apply a sample to the test strip. Use the lancing device included in your kit to obtain a blood sample. First, Remove the lancing device cap by snapping it off at an angle. Insert a new lancet firmly into the blue lancet holder. Twist off the lancet cover, replace the cap until it snaps or clicks into place. Be careful not to touch the exposed needle. Set the desired depth setting. Cock the slider by pulling back the gray slider until it clicks. Next, select your preferred test site. Use the lancing device to obtain a blood sample. Hold the lancing device firmly against the site 
and press the lancing button. Lift the lancing device and be careful to not smear the blood sample. Apply the blood drop to the white area at the end of the test strip. The blood is drawn into the test strip. Hold blood to the test strip until you see three short lines on the meter screen. This means you have applied enough blood. You will then see a 10-second countdown. Do not remove the test strip from the meter during the countdown. The test is complete when the result appears on the meter screen. The result is automatically stored in memory. Discard the used test strip and lancet properly.